Hello, I'm John Goff, teaching at the Junior RNCM with my pupil Ted. We're looking at the last line of a Messian prelude, uh, Plant Calm, uh, which is a very calm, tranquil piece, as the title suggests. The point we're looking at occurs really in the last line, uh, the idea of playing ten note chords or nine note chords marked PP or three Ps or even at the end four Ps. How is it going to work? Can we just try it, Ted? Just say from around there. Good. Yes. What were you thinking when you were putting those chords down? What's, um, what's the message going through your mind? Well, to have my hand like completely raised, so I can put it down. Yes, yes. Five fingers are locked in position. Yeah. It's a bit like five prongs on a fork. A bit like putting a fork into a jelly or something. Um, not that you've probably done that very often. <laughs> um, but the five prongs all touch at the same point and go down as one unit. The idea being that if I was to push your hand down at any point, all the fingers would go down together. Just play that last chord again. So you've really braced your hand, you've got the fingers absolutely set on the keys and it's all going to go down as one unit. That's it. Now try and see if you can get it even softer. Yes. Lots of people don't realise that to actually play very delicately takes a vast amount of control. It's very easy to play a fortissimo. Anybody can do that because you're just applying lots of um, key speed and pressure. The softer it goes, if you've got too little key speed, the hammers are just going to pack up in the process and fall back. So you're fighting against the resistance of the key and the hammer mechanism, and then still trying to get it all to sound at once. Can we just try that last chord again? I notice you put the left pedal in, which is a very good idea. Good. Yes, it's a knack, isn't it? So, by way of a summary, the five fingers are braced in one position, they're all touching the keys and they're going to go down in one go. The step forward from that, you could actually try an exercise bringing out the lower note, the middle note. How do you think I do that? Um, I don't know by directing my energy into it. Yes. That's it. It's, well, try, try some octave low, because it's a bit tinker at the moment. That's it, that's the lowest note. There's the E flat. Third, the F sharp. Yes, that's a tricky one because of the whole thing, but that's it. And that's the top note. Yeah, we normally bring out the top note, don't we? That's the, the, the most usual sound to bring out. Yeah. Interesting that the, the, the use of the top note projection is using the smallest finger, yeah. but you're also using that side of the hand. Mm. So you've got all those muscles connecting. More difficult when it's in the middle. Um, much more yeah. awkward to find. But it's, if you're playing from the top of the key, it's very much the feeling of leaning in with one of those fingers. That was good.